Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to jump into today's crafting video because I'm finally gonna be showing you guys how to make your very own sublimation tumblers. So if you're curious to see how to sublimate tumblers, keep watching. Okay guys, so for this craft, you're gonna need quite a few things. You're going to need your sublimation paper. I highly recommend the ASA paper. I've tried a few different brands and I always go back to this one. You'll also need some sublimation tumblers. Make sure you're not using just a regular tumbler because it does have to have like this special coating on it that makes the sublimation design show up. And there are several different ways that you can wrap your design on your tumbler. Today, I'm gonna to be using these shrink sleeves. Basically, I just slide them on the tumbler. I use my heat gun and then just like shrink wrap, it'll shrink it really tight over the tumbler, which is going to help with the design. You're also gonna need some scissors, some heat safe tape, some heat resistant gloves because you are handling this while it is hot. And, and if you're not using the shrink wrap sleeves, then you might need some masking tape as well. And then of course you're gonna need your designs. I am actually about to purchase these two off of Etsy right now. As you can see, they're fairly inexpensive. That one's $3.50 because it's on sale. That one's $5, so not too bad there. And then just like with any other digital download, I will download it to my iPad, print it off using my sub paper, and of course my Epson Ecotank 2760 that this used to be a regular printer and I converted it into a sublimation printer. And then obviously you're going to need your convection oven if you don't have a tumbler press. I will say it is really important that you do not make these in your regular oven. You do not want to bake these tumblers in your regular oven because the way sublimation works is the ink is transferred onto the tumbler the ink like turns into vapor or something is what I've heard. So you just don't want that getting in your oven where you cook your food and stuff. So I just really wanted to point that out because that's really important that you only use a convection oven that you do not put food into. So I'm just using my old Oster toaster slash pizza oven, but I don't use this for food anymore. This is solely in my craft room for my sublimation tumblers. All right guys, I'm super excited to do these tumblers. So let's get started. This is the first design that I'm going to sublimate. I thought it was kind of cool. So I'm just going to print this real quick. So we have our design all printed out and ready to go. Um, it is important that you make sure that you let your ink completely dry before you try to sublimate it. So I just let it set for about five to 10 minutes. Um, now you can cut this with scissors. I just find it easier to put it on my Cricut mat and use my rotary tool to cut it. But you just wanna trim off any of the white excess that the design didn't get printed on. You don't want any white lines or anything on your sublimation tumbler. Okay, so here is our design. As you can see, you know, the design goes all the way to all the edges. So now we are ready to put this on our tumbler. Okay, so I always start by taking my lid off and then I always put my design kind of in front of me um, vertically. So just make sure you're lining it up like the top of the tumbler to the top of the design, obviously. But I just kind of center it in the design so that there is equal parts like overlapping the tumbler on the top and the bottom, if that makes sense. So I just kind of start by holding it like so. And then I'll take my other hand and kind of pull really tight and just kind of roll it on like so. And you see like it meets perfectly. It only overlaps. A tiny bit so once I have it pulled pretty tight you're gonna take some heat tape and just put it right where you were holding that and so then I'll just kind of make sure that it's really tight so now I'm gonna take some heat tape and just line the entire top and the bottom and then we're gonna fold that over our edges so that it completely wraps the tumbler. See, like so. And then I just take it and fold it over. And if there's like some spots that are kind of like being a little tricky, then I just add some more tape to kind of help hold that down. Like you see how like right there, there's like a little bump. It's not going completely down. So I'm just gonna take a piece of tape right over that and fold it over the edge 
and then it kind of goes down. Okay, so now I'm done with the top. So now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom of the tumbler. And then same thing, we're just gonna fold it over the edge all the way around. And I don't really worry too much about the wrinkles that are like gonna obviously be on the bottom of this because it's the bottom of the tumbler. It's typically sitting on a surface so nobody's gonna see that anyway. So as long as you don't have a ton of like bumps and wrinkles like on the actual tumbler part, you should be okay. Okay, so once you have your heat transfer tape on both ends and your seam, then I like to take some masking tape and just go over the heat transfer tape. You don't have to do this, but just to be safe, especially if you're using a shrink wrap, that kind of you know helps with the same thing, which I am using a shrink wrap, but I still go over just the seams just to make sure that the heat tape stays down. So I've seen a lot of people um, that don't use shrink wrap sleeves and you absolutely do not have to. I've seen a lot of people just use like thicker masking tape and they will just go around the entire tumbler in masking tape. So as long as you're like, you know, pulling really tight and you think you can get it tight enough to where it's going to be putting, you know, that extra pressure that it needs to sublimate, then it should be okay. So you absolutely do not have to use shrink wrap if you don't want to. I literally only use the shrink wrap because peeling off the tape is kind of a pain. Whereas like the shrink wrap literally like you just rip it in one spot and then the whole thing will peel off pretty easily, you know? So I just think it's a little bit easier, but there you go. So now we have tape all over our seams. So now we are ready to add our shrink wrap. But like I said, you do not have to use shrink wrap if you do not want to. You could just wrap the entire tumbler in masking tape really, really tight all the way down. Okay, so my shrink wrap wrappers are a little big, but that's okay. Cause it will shrink around the entire cup anyway. So then what I like to do is put on one of my heat resistant gloves. I put my hand inside the tumbler to hold it. And then I'll just kind of balance the shrink wrap wrapper around my tumbler while it's on my hand like so. And then we're just gonna take our heat gun and shrink this shrink wrap and it goes by pretty quick. Okay, so now that we have our shrink wrap on and all shrunk on our tumbler, now we are ready to go put it into our little countertop convection oven over there. So I set my temp at 375 and I will bake this for six minutes. I set two three minute timers and so I'll set it on there for three minutes and then after that three minute timer is up, I will come in, flip it over 180 and then set it for another three minutes and then I pull it out. Okay, so it's been three minutes. So I'm literally just gonna take this and roll it to the other side if it'll stay there. And then I'm gonna leave this in here for another three minutes. Okay guys, so it has been six minutes. So I'm gonna pull my tumbler out and it is extremely hot. So just be aware of that. I do have my heat glove on. So what I like to do now is pull it out and you could just set it here and let it cool. But what I like to do, and this is a pro tip, is put it underneath some cold water in my sink and it kind of instantly cools it. But also I've noticed that it makes the colors turn out just a little bit better when you run underneath cold water. I'm not sure why. Try it for yourself and see and let me know which way you like better. So I'm gonna take this out of here and I'm gonna go put it in the sink under some cold water in the bathroom that's right down the hall from my craft room so that we can cool this and then peel off the shrink wrap and the sublimation paper. So I just put it in cold water and then I'll just like roll it around for a minute or so until it's cooled down and then we can peel off the shrink wrap and the sublimation paper. All right guys, so I let this set in the sink for a minute and it is completely cooled now. So like I said, with the shrink wrap, you literally just kind of rip it in one spot and then it all just kind of comes off. So then I just rip off everything, the shrink wrap, the sublimation paper, the heat tape, and the masking tape. All right, so there is our tumbler. So as you can see, here is where the seam was, which it did line up some of the designs, which is nice. Some of the things kind of got cut off or 
misaligned like that claw is not attached to that bird foot but these things down here are attached so but here's our tumbler I think it came out pretty good so here's the bottom as you guys can see it's a little bit kind of blurred right here but I actually don't see like there's a couple spots where it's just a tiny bit faded and that's where like the wrinkle was where we were like pushing down on the design over the edge. So that's what these blurred parts are, if you can tell. And as far as the top goes, the only part that I see that's kind of messed up is this little part. I don't know if you can see that like blurred white right there. That's where there was obviously a wrinkle or something and we didn't flatten it out all the way or the shrink wrap didn't flatten it out all the way, but that's the only spot. And of course, this is a Halloween tumbler, so I'm sure as you guys guessed, this is for me. So I'm not too worried about that. I don't care. I think this is still a really cool tumbler design and this came out great. Oh my gosh, I am in love with this tumbler, you guys. And because they're sublimation tumblers, the best part is you do not have to seal them. We don't have to epoxy these, nothing. They are done. You could add epoxy if you wanted to, like if you wanted to sprinkle a little bit of glitter on here, or if you just like the feel of those epoxy tumblers because they feel, you know, like plastic, then go for it. Definitely epoxy over your tumblers. But I love these because I can literally start and finish these within the same hour. And I don't have to epoxy over them if I don't want to. I can sell it just like this and it'll be completely fine. So I definitely recommend trying these. These are super easy super fun you may mess up your first couple like most of us do but once you get used to how to wrap it really tight and tape it and everything they are super easy and so fun to do and you could design your own design on procreate which maybe i'll do that like in a future video or something for you guys but if you're not good at drawing or designing or anything like that or you just want to take the easy route like i did you can just buy pre-made designs off of etsy or there's a bunch of other websites online that you can find for digital downloads and you're supporting a small business so it's a win-win in my book so as always guys if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop a comment down below if you like this video please let me know that you liked it by giving me a big thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel be sure to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any other cool crafting tutorials